Hello everyone and welcome back to Ukko Plays NetHack. Here is my barbarian. We left off in a uh, in the, the, the uh, Sokoban. Uh, this is basically a little little bit of a puzzle game inside a NetHack. The idea is to push all these uh, boulders. Boulders are are these things. These things here into those pits. So, uh, Sogoban usually has a lot of food and lots of like wands, I think rings and stuff like that in it. So it's usually very, very useful, useful to go through Sogoban uh, to, well, whenever you find it, there's something blocking the way. Aha, on the turning. Okay, that, that's interesting. There was something, okay. There was. Did I? I didn't kill it. There's something invisible here. Uh, another invisible stalker. Fortune cookies. Oh, did I see a monster there? Yeah, I did. It's annoying when the monsters get like between between the boulder and the pit. There's no way of you really. Oh come on. Okay, these two scrolls. Be for blah. these scrolls of I, I wanna name them. You will always get these two scrolls on this first level. I think this first uh, first level is always this this level. The next few levels can vary from a couple of variants. But anyway, you will always get to get two scrolls in here, and they are scrolls of Earth, which cause a bunch of boulder to fall on you. There are basically a little, little bit of a help scrolls in here. Since you can use them to create uh, more more boulders if you somehow screw up. Okay, get out of here, Nago. Give her no gelatinous cube. I think gelatinous cube can give you free action. Let's see it. Full of hot air. No, I don't think that that's not a free action. That's a. Uh, uh, frost resistance, yeah, took me a moment to get it. Also, the goddamn Naga went all the way back into here. Get out of here, Naga. Don't want you to be here. No, move away, Naga. Oh, there's some food in the pit there, but eh, not gonna bother with it. Ring of slow digestion. I'm getting lucky with... Oh, okay, I screwed up. We can't pass. A di diagonally here. Oh no. Well, I need to take the lock hit. You you, you lose a lock when uh, when you destroy rocks in Sogoban. Uh, not rocks, but boulders. So let's uh, grab. I should have my pickaxe. Apply the pickaxe into this boulder. And oh, don't wanna wield a food ration, that's not the best weapon, let's wield the first brand. And I destroyed the boulder here. Yeah. It's been quite a while since I... oh no, there was something in here. Let's, let's try to get it killed before it managed to, manages to block my way into the... into those pits. No, there's a giant corpse here. I cannot eat that giant corpse since it came out from a zombie, it's already rotten. One way you could eat it is if you uh, would tin it first and then eat it, then it for some reason becomes edible. Okay, I don't really like all these neutral monsters, uh, peaceful monsters hanging around here. They are bound to block my path to the pits. Okay, where's the kitten? No kitten, don't go in there. Go away, kitten. No. No. Kitten, god damn it. No. To the right, kitten, to the right. Don't make me kill you. God damn it, fuck it, I'll kill it. Let's see, was there a... The kitten hisses. I don't think I got any kind of a big penalty from that. Anyway. Well, the kitten had to die. 
I didn't wanna cooperate, so... So, it had to die. For my uh, Sokoban experience. Okay, let's head back up. Now, this time, they are no longer pits, they are holes in the floor, so if you... You can't just, like, force your way through by falling into every pit and then climbing into the other... another one. This time, if you step on it, you will fall back down to the previous floor. I have also picked up a bunch of tins. Why not, why not eat one of them and see? Uh, I su succeed opening it. It smells like red molds. I'll eat it. Uh, red molds, I think they can give you fire resistance. So this, these were pretty good tins, but I already have fire resistance. So it wasn't super useful. Now let's see if I can remember how to do this thing. This thing needs to be pushed into here. This thing there. Now I can start pushing these things in here. Uh, another giant zombie. Come on, zombie. Let me get back to solving this. <clears throat> yeah. As I said, there's not a huge amount of variance. There was a bunch of strike in there. Not a huge amount of variance in these uh, levels, so you can you can uh, memorize them pretty e easily after you have done them a few times. So I'll keep filling the holes. Oh, was that a? Was there a special message? Just scroll down the down the message buffer a bit. Uh, a few more boulders. Sokoban is usually a nice place to establish a cache of no gear. Basically, you wanna engrave a engrave a square with the elbow and then put a lock chest on that square. That, that should keep your gear very safe. Basically, well, you wanna. You don't usually wanna carry everything you everything good you find with you. You wanna carry well. You wanna carry enough gear to keep you alive, and you know you want to carry the gear you really need at that moment. As you can see, I am burned, burdened right now, so it means I am moving a bit slower than I could uh, normally. I mean, it, it depends a bit on a bit of your character, but. <clears throat> I have personally been usually pretty fine with being burdened to the end game, but I mean, some people really don't like it. It's yeah, it depends. Oh, red naga bread fire on me. Let's stuff everything that might burn, at least scrolls and potions, into my bag. They cannot. Uh, they cannot burn inside the bag. Two hats best fight better than two cast address. What? Are you shit talking my silver dragon scale man? I will kill you for that. Ooh, soldier ants and soldier ants are very nasty things. They can easily kill you kill your kill you off if they manage to surround you, but since there is there is the door here I can just keep take them one by one. Red Naga Corpse. And what was that? Imp. I feel more confident in my weapon skills, soldier and corpse. And yeah, I need to I need to remember to hit B and not A. Since A is still the axe and I don't wanna level up in that. So I'm now skilled in longsword, I believe. Expert is the highest highest level I can reach in in the longsword skill. An expert is the next level. Alright, let's head up. Uh, is this one of those levels that I... Oh. That I never remember how to do. No, I think I pretty, pretty well remember what, what to do with this. Oh no, there's something on the way. Then, yeah, if I had a tinning machines, machine, I would tinning kit. I would totally tin that ten new corpse. Always a good thing to have these backup corpses for a good intrinsics. Uh, backup corpses you can you can get good good intrinsics from 
eating them. Okay, how does this bit golden? Let's see. If I push that thing there, no, I don't wanna push that thing there. I wanna push that thing up there. No, I don't wanna do that. Let me see. I mean, yeah, I have a feeling that's not the way to do it, but let's regular giant ant, less dangerous than soldier ants. And yeah, I think this. Yeah, but how am I gonna do this thing now? I mean, I have to push this thing here. And if I push... Actually... Is there enough space? Um, I kinda feel like I have to push this thing here. Yeah, okay, this is how it goes. Yeah, now I can push this thing here and... And into these holes. Okay, I believe I solved it. Yeah. This should be it. Oh, hello snake. Shiny ring. I will have it. Uh, yeah, my magic marker has pretty low amount of charges left, so the one thing one thing when you, you wanna write when magic marker gets low is wind of charging. But if I remember correctly, I think I do remember correctly, magic markers can only be charged once, like, just like the Wand of Wishing. So you will... Mm -hmm. What is that W? Barrow White. Okay. That is not what I kinda hoped it would be. There is a thing called Wraith, which is the only... I think it is the only thing uh, that you get uh, levels from when you eat its corpse. Let's do the engraving thing for this wand. It was the hexagonal, right? Well, that's the only unidentified. Okay, it uh, changed completely. The engraving now reads, they say that some eggs could what? hatch in your pack. Lucky or not. I think that's correct. Anyway, this is a wand of it didn't actually identify it's the wand, but well it's pretty easy to know what this is. This is a wand of polymorph. It will change things from change things to other things basically. It changed that SS engraving into one of those fortune cookie cookie type type things there. Uh, ooh. Going up, not a down. <clears throat> okay. Um, I think first I wanna make more space on this level, like this. Then I wanna start moving these things up here. Yes. Oh, there's something in here. A house cat. Luckily, it's not peaceful, so I can get easily rid of it. Anyway, that's the price area there on the right, bottom right, there should be, well there is a price in one of those small rooms, and oh, there's something below, below, behind there, and then here's hoping that it is what I want, basically, basically a bag of holding, it can be either, either of two things, bag of holding or amulet of reflection. I really hope it's not the amulet. That's not something I need at all. Now let's see. I mm, think I remember easily how to do it. There's a something in something stuck in one of those. Let's see. One of those holes there. Oh, hello. Gelatinous cube. I will definitely eat this corpse again and no. Did not give me free action. Free action is basically if you have free action, you cannot be, I think, like put to sleep or paralyzed or anything. 
So yeah, it's basically free action as it might sound. Okay, I have made the situation pretty simple now. There's only some boulders remaining and, and all of them uh, should be pretty easy to get to where I want them to go. Kind of annoying that I have to push them all the way down there to uh, make the kind of a turn to get get them back up. I don't, don't really need to push them all this down there. I think this room is enough. And then I can get them back up again, up here again. Okay, there was something here. A scorpion, yeah. Let's kick the body, yeah. Just wanted to see where the hole was. And if, you, as you can see, if you kick, if you kick something into a hole, it will just fall through and be randomly placed somewhere on the below, the level below. Into the hole it goes. Um, man, I forgot to start my timer. I don't know how long I have been recording. God damn. As it blob, get out of my way. I hate those peaceful mobs in here. Okay, almost done. Almost done. Interesting that there doesn't, doesn't seem to be any extra boulders on this level. Yeah, I think. I mean, those, those two boulders in the corners of the... Corners of the room cannot be moved from the corners, corners since, well, only way to move them would be become a giant and pick them up. Almost done now. Okay, luckily the acid blob stayed down there, don't have to care about it. Oh, what is uh, that? 18? Uh, I should probably eat this thing too, just for fun. What? I don't want to throw anything I want to eat. Let's say eat uh, capital H. One cli <coughs> No. I, if I recall correctly... Well, well, my first reaction was that you should not eat homunculi corpses. don't totally remember what it might do. But does it put you to sleep or does it maybe give you teleportation? Mm, something like that. Okay, let's open it and this should be full of uh, mobs here. Oh no, rust monster though. Do I even have anything? <laughs> Man, my armor. I only have the silver dragon scale mail and, uh, and the gloves remaining. The nymphs stole like three pieces of my armor. Only the boots were really valuable though. Also that a darker W right here is a raid. That's nice. Let's hope that it will leave me a leave me a uh, body. Wait, did something? What uh, the fuck? What uh, the fucking a uh, fuck? I thought artifacts are. I thought artifacts are automatically f uh, rust proof. Maybe they are not, and in that case I totally screwed up that wish I should have wished for a rust-proof frost brand. Well, that is a bad thing. I'm being zapped with one of a striking, but... God damn it. Rate touches you, goodbye level 11. Basically rate, rates, as I said, you can get levels from eating their corpses, but they also drain your levels, so... Okay, there we go. I luckily managed to kill it, and it will sure look like it left a corpse. And, and as you can saw, the, uh, the blast of fire, fire, fire ray just bounced off my armor there. Oh, I should have not searched. Now I found that giant mimic above me. It was nice when it was just a boulder, and no one could get through. Mm. I'm just slowly hitting Q 
killing these things here. I'm trying to keep an eye out on, on my uh, hit points. Also, not that a giant died, died there, and I think it, it dropped a real boulder there, so. Oh, there's another giant mimic right there. Ogre Jelly. Yeah, there's a huge amount of monsters here, here but usually at the, point, at the time you get into here. You are pretty well, pretty well uh, geared to do do this. Uh, rock monster stayed some gold. Uh, well, I mean, I say you may be. Oh, should be pretty reas reasonably geared, but I am going pretty down low in health here. Kill me here. No! <laughs> I should have run away. I should have run away. Yeah. This is an example of stu super stupid death. I had such a great run going with the Wand of Wishing and everything. But I just refused to move away and just kept hitting the monsters. Oh, uh, well. Yes, let's see what I had. Do I have anything interesting in here? Plus, plus one increased damage. Yeah. Mm, had a ring of free action. Mm. I think most of this stuff was identified anyway. Yeah, nothing super interesting. And obviously aligned. Yeah, there was lots of lots of more attributes on this guy than there was on the previous one. Lots of resistances, some controls. Uh, was also lucky. And I am dead. And don't want to see the monsters I killed, that's just a huge list of everything you killed. And let's see. Yeah, I used four wishes and still died in the goddamn treasure zoo here. Uh, well, killed by a dwarf lord. This was Ukko. I'll see you next time with a new character.